The skill we're covering today is metric conversions dealing with length. We can measure things using two different systems. So the units that we typically use in the United States are the customary units. So it's the customary system. Those include inches, centimeters, feet, and pounds. So we're really comfortable with those. The reason that we are is because we live in the United States and those are the units that we typically measure with. Now with metric, we typically don't hear these a lot, but they're not unfamiliar to us either. So the units that are metric are used worldwide, and those include meters, liters, and grams. We're going to talk about the metric system, and we're going to deal with specifically just length. So the base um, unit for length in the metric system is meters. And the three specific units that we're gonna talk about today are centimeters, meters, and kilometers. So you'll notice that base word meters is in all three of these words, and it's just the prefix that changes. So things that we typically measure in centimeters would be small things like a paper clip, a library book, even a pencil. And then things that we would measure in meters are typically like a taller thing, so like a person, maybe a bookshelf, or maybe a large flat screen TV or our projector screen. When we're talking about kilometers, we're talking about huge distances. So these are like how long you typically run outside or the distance from your house to the nearest Chick-fil-A. So that would be how we, what we typically measure in kilometers. The difference between one meter and um, a centimeter is a decent amount. It takes a hundred centimeters to make one meter. So you would have to stack all next to each other a hundred centimeters to make one meter. But the difference between meters and kilometers is even more. It takes 1,000 meters to equal one kilometer. That's going to come in handy in our next couple of slides. So we're going to convert centimeters to meters. So the first one's been done for us. A hundred centimeters is equal to one meter. So that means one meter is equal to 100 centimeters. And if we had three meters, how many centimeters would we have? 300 centimeters because really that's 100 centimeters, 100 centimeters, 100 centimeters. Five meters then would be 500 centimeters. Seven meters would be 700 centimeters. Nine meters would be 900 centimeters and two meters would be 200 centimeters. Use that thinking to actually decompose this 150 centimeters into both meters and centimeters. So in this bubble, I wanna find out how many meters could I pull out of this 150 centimeters? And then whatever's left over is our centimeters left over. So we're trying to think, we know that 100 centimeters equals one meter. So anytime we see 100 centimeters or more, we know that we at least have a meter. So looking at my 150 centimeters, we have 100 centimeters in here, which is equal to one meter. So when I decompose this, I'm gonna pull out one meter. That was equal to 100 centimeters. If I take that 100 centimeters away from 150, how many centimeters am I left with? 50. So 150 centimeters is the same thing as saying one meter, 50 centimeters. Let's try it again. This time we have 107 centimeters. Reminder, every 100 centimeters is equal to one meter. So how many meters do I have? Well, I see 100, so I have one meter. 
which is like saying 100 centimeters. So when I take 100 centimeters away from 107, I'm left with 7 centimeters left over. So 107 centimeters is the same thing as saying 1 meter 7 centimeters. This time, let's work from reverse. So this time we're given 3 meters, 28 centimeters, and we're trying to find out how many centimeters is that equal to? Well, I know that every time I have 100 centimeters, I have 1 meter. So this time if I have 3 meters, that's like saying I have 300 centimeters. And when I add these two together, I get 328 centimeters. So 328 centimeters is the same thing as 3 meters, 28 centimeters. It's just like saying, in our customary way, that 12 inches is the same thing as saying 1 foot. Let's switch our thinking to meters and kilometers. So this time, it takes 1,000 meters to make one kilometer. So if I have one kilometer, that's really like saying I have 1,000 meters. And if I have two kilometers, that means I have 2,000 meters. I can just easily find that pattern to help me. So again, if I have 70 kilometers, that would be like I have 70 thousands. So 70,000 meters. We're decomposing centimeters into meters and uh, centimeters. We're going to decompose this meters amount into kilometers and meters. So reminder, 1,000 meters is equal to one kilometer. So every thousand that I have, I could pull out possibly a kilometer. So looking at this number, I have four thousands, which means I can pull out four kilometers. So I pulled out 4,000 meters, leaving me left with 671 meters. 671 is not enough to make a kilometer, so that's why it is kept in meter form. So 4 kilometers, 671 meters is the same thing as 4,671 meters. Let's try this one. Reminder, 1,000 meters is equal to 1 kilometer. I have 8 thousands, which means I have 8 kilometers. That would be like taking out the 8,000 meters, leaving me left with 73 meters. Last one, we're going to work from reverse, so this time we're given 2 kilometers, 726 meters. How many meters is this equal to? Well, I know that every thousand meters that I get is one kilometer. So if I have two kilometers, that would be equal to 2,000 meters. And when I add these two together, I get 2,726 meters. That's all for the skill of the day.